Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a few of my favorite pink vintage toys in my collection. And all the information that I'm going to be sharing with you is from the website Ghost of the Doll. If you would like to check out these toys or any other toys, go to www.ghostofthedoll.co. Dot UK. All this information is from this website. Okay, so first we're going to start with my Sparklin's pet. This baby right here. She is so pretty. I got her brand new literally mint in box. Um, this was literally my dream toy. I got her with the money uh, from my birthday and I was bidding on it and I was the only person that bid on it so yes I love her she's so pretty so I'm just going to give you some information on her and the toy line so animal friends from the world of PJ Sparkles Sparklin's bunny puppy and bear are huggable daytime pals who have a magical nighttime surprise Starry bodies that glow and eyes that grow sleepy when the lights are turned out. Soft and cuddly 12 inch plush Sparklands pets are the perfect daytime to bedtime companions for little girls and boys. There were five Sparklands produced in total. Originally there were three soft toy animals produced. A yellow puppy, a lavender bear, and a pink bunny like the one that I am showing you right now. Um, then in 1991, advertised as Sparklin's bunnies, a yellow bunny and a lavender bunny were added along with a previously sold pink bunny. They were 12 inches high and had satin-like bodies with glow-in-the-dark stars on. They each came with a necklace which said, I love you, which also glowed in the dark. And the little necklace is right here. This is just such a beautiful toy. I love her so much. Her hair is so soft. Her body is so soft. Um, oh, I love it so much. And what you do is you actually put her right up to the light for about 30 seconds, I think. And that actually activates the glow-in-the-dark feature. And then you want to go in the dark room and she should glow-in-the-dark for you. Let's And that is all the information I have on her. But she is so adorable. Like, when you put her in the dark, it looks like she's sleeping. I love that pink nose that she has. She has iridescent bows on the top of her head. Let's see if I can show you a little bit. See that? Super cute. And then she has tinsel in her hair. And a little bit of, um... Her doesn't fabric right there. She's so cute. So the next toy I will be talking about is the brush -a loves So I actually have um I actually have a birthday hat on for her and I actually got the idea from um Heather Sparkles. I love the whole birthday hat idea. So cute. All right. So, Brush Loves were produced by Amtoy, then Tyco in the U.S., and Matchbox in U.K. slash Euro from 1987 to 1989. They were plush bears about 10 inches high with brushes on the ends of their tails. A mirror attached to their right paw. There's the mirror. And a powder puff on their left. Which is right here. And it says brush loves on it. Um alongside them came low brush loves. Scented like dog-like creatures 
with a loop on the end of their tails. There were also kithalubs, which were small flocked plastic versions of the brushalubs, with a furry tail with a brush on the end. There were eight brushalubs produced, each one scented differently. So obviously this doesn't smell anymore. Um, her name is actually Beauty Berry. Um, and her hair's kind of messed up, and I'm assuming some of it got pulled out because I kind of looked at the roots up there, and it looked like maybe like the kid had ripped it out. I don't know. But the fabric is really pretty. It's white and it has like heart pattern on it, and the little tongue is sticking out here. And I just think it's a really cute toy. I just love it. Like brush loves was definitely like I was on the mission to get all of them like I still want to get the yellow one which is really hard to find since it's a UK version but I do have all four of the American versions and it has a little red brush at the end so the, yes that is my pink brush love that I have and next we have tea bunnies which is this cute little girl right here here's her little hat and her ears go in there so tea bunnies were originally produced by tommy around 1995. kids view took over the production a year or two later then anita slash the beanstalk group in 1999 the toys remained unchanged they were a series of posable plastic bunnies about four inches high with flowers molded on top of their ears. Which came with large teacups that doubles as shops. So this is her little large teacup that she came with. And it's like a little hat shop on the side. There were six original tea bunnies, then two were introduced, Daisy and Iris. Each tea bunny included a dress, um, plastic hat, bunny sized teacup, and a large teacup and saucer. So mine did not come with a little teacup for the bunny and I didn't find the saucer. I actually found this one at Goodwill Outlets. Um, I can't believe I found her. I do have a the purple one um, from my childhood, which I can't find. And I also have the Daisy one, I believe, which I ordered her on eBay. Um, the hats also doubled as roofs for the large teacup, which were also shops. And the bunnies could fit inside the cups when sat. And this little girl is called Rose Bonnet. So... She has little roses on the top of her ears, and she has this cute little dress on, and little shoesies. And when you do put the hat on, it's like a, a cover for the teacup, which is super cute. So that's a tea bunny information. Next we have Yum Yums. I got her actually from Heather Sparkles. I love her. She still smells like super good. In really good condition. Heather found her at Goodwill Outlets, which I'm super shocked. Um, and she didn't even have to post it online like to sell it. I was like, yeah, can I can I possibly have her? <laughs> so yeah, she sold her to me. Um, so Yum Yums were a short-lived series produced by Kenner slash Hallmark in 1989 to 1991. They were large, colorful, plush animals with sweet treats pictured on their bellies, ears, and feet. Um, there was also a one-off special cartoon made. Yum Yums were reissued by a Japanese company around 2011, licensed by Hallmark, and produced a multitude of accessories. There were also several new characters. There were six original plush yum yums measuring about th 13 inches high. They had glittery, glittery plastic noses, some glittery strands and the fur on their faces. You can see a little bit of reflection on her face. 
and glitter in the patterned fabric too. Um, they each came with a ribbon around their necks with yum yums written on it. And she is called Sherry Cherry Poodle. That's kind of a tongue twister, but I love her. She's so cute. And I always want to make yum yums. So. And last but not least, we have my rub it up doggy. I actually found her at the Goodwill Outlets, and I was super shocked. Like, I saw something pink and soft, so I kind of like pulled it up, and I couldn't believe what I saw. Like, she's in such good condition. So, let's jump on into this one. It says, Rub-It-Up Doggy was produced by Ideal from 1981, then Tyco from 1989. They were a series of 10-inch dogs to be played with in the bath. An offshoot from Rub-It-Up Doggy was Rub-It-Up Dolly. There were also smaller 4-inch dogs and a playset for them. Um, the large dogs from Ideal. There were two different colored large dogs produced by Ideal. It was like the dark brown one and the light beige one. They had a tag at the back of their collars, which was connected to a length of string. When it was pulled, the dog's head would shake from side to side, just like a real wet dog. And then the dogs from Tycho, which is actually this one. Um, Tycho produced four dogs using the same mold as Ideal, but in different colors. They also had named stickers on their collars, which her name is Princess, and she has blue eyes. She's so pretty. I love her. Um, and then there were also two with brushable ears, which I hope I can get my hands on one day, and I really want more. I know I've seen, um, can't remember who I'm following on Instagram, but they also found one at the Goodwill Outlets. She found Rosie, actually. So, super cute. So, yes, um, these are my favorite pink vintage toys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope, um, you guys continue to watch and subscribe. Just let me know what you guys are interested in and if you like these kinds of videos. I'm really into the vintage toy scene. Um, I have a big collection. So if you want more videos like this, informational, then just let me know in the comments. Um, and I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday um, and a good Monday tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. And Tamalina says thank you too, even though she's sleeping. Bye guys, have a good day.